With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Let us start with our question. In this question, what is given? In the above question, the value of the angular velocity uh, after two second will be. We need to find what is the angular velocity after two second. Now, what was the situation which was mentioned? So there was a, a ring which was placed, and there was a force, tangential force, which was which was applied. and the force value was given as to be force value was 10 newton okay it was applied tangentially and the radius was given as to be radius value was 0.5 meter and moment of inertia was also given moment of inertia value was given as to be 2 kg meter square now in this situation when we are applying this force so what we need to uh, so this force is applied on the circumference after 2 second what would be the angular velocity okay so what we can say that we can say that the net torque is basically what tau net is basically rate of change of angular momentum we say that it is dl over dt or we can just write it as is that delta l over change in time now this change in angular momentum could be written as final angular momentum minus initial angular momentum divided by we can divide it by the time interval in which this change has taken place okay now if the force is applied tangentially on the surface what would be the value of the torque we know that if force is applied tangentially for example this is the force 10 newton what is the torque torque is basically force multiplied by the perpendicular distance now perpendicular distance would be equals to the radius that means we can put the value of the torque so what is the value of the torque it would be force into the perpendicular displacement that, that means f into r so this value if we put f value as 10 r value as 0.5 equals to now what is angular momentum defined angular momentum we know that angular momentum is i into omega now i would be constant for both the parts so we can take i to be common and it would be omega f minus omega i okay divided by time now if we further substitute the values i value is 2 omega f we need to find omega omega i initially it was the system was at rest so we put this value as to be 0 now what is the time after which we need to find the angular velocity it is 2 second so we put the value of the time as 2 So we divide it by two. Okay. So this two in this two would be cancelled. Ten into point five would be equals to. Ah, uh, ten into point five would be five. So our omega final would turn out to be five radian per second. Now this is the final answer for the omega after two second. So which option is the correct option? Our B option is the correct option. Hope you understood the solution. Thank you. For class six to twelve, ITJ and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.